beaches for free. Millions of beaches, beaches for me. Look out! Millions of beaches, beaches for me. Millions of beaches, beaches for free. Millions of beaches, beaches for me. Millions of beaches, beaches for free. Millions of beaches, beaches for me. Let's go find some fruit. See? See? Eh? That's not... That one, that wasn't... Aww. That wasn't ready anyways. I've gone deaf in the last few episodes I've done. So today's gonna be a nice quiet day on the farm where somebody like me will just, will just blend in perfectly. It's all beat and all talk. He tells you a story and makes you want to dance. Steve Fox examines an overnight phenomenon, rapping to the beat. Hello, puppy. They'll have tractors which will be picking people up and bringing them down to the peaches. But uh, you know me, I like to wander, so I'm gonna see if I can venture down there by myself. There was a book I used to read when I was a kid. Well, I didn't read it, my mother read it to me, you know, because I'm an idiot. I'll get back to that thought in a little bit. First, let me shoot some more footage, but remind me later to tell you more about that book. Impressive. They have a market, they have a full-fledged restaurant, they have a coffee area to go, they have events, they have samples. There is a ton of people here right now, but I think I got everything I need. Oh, before I forget, let me tell you about that book. The book was called Caps for Sale. It was written by author S. Fears Slobod Kina. I don't know, some communist. Essentially it was about a dude who ran through the countryside and he had like a ton of caps on top of his head, you know, hats. He would just sell them. One day he runs by a gang of monkeys. The monkeys come up and steal all his hats and run into the tree. So he goes and yells at it. Eventually he gets the majority of his caps back. When you look at the illustrations of the actual book, it's really just so comforting and warming and just, it really does make you feel like you're at home and that everything's gonna be okay. And you look off into the distance and you see the little ranches and the little farmhouses that are in the background. And there really is just something cool about the entire book. To me, this is the little farmhouse at the top of the hill and I'm the peddler. I really like that book. If I get another copy of it, I'm gonna frame it and put it up on the wall. I'm gonna do one more thing before I head home for the day.